We'll park Keith here today. Let's talk about the power disc brake conversion that we are installing on this 64 Fury. We are replacing the power drum brakes with a disc brake system and dual reservoir master cylinder to replace the single old timey uh, single reservoir. We're also replacing all the ball joints, tie rod ends, idler arm and uh, tie rod ends and replacing the eccentrics, the bump stops, and most importantly, the lower control arm bushings that almost everyone over, overlooks because uh, it's so hard to do. So here's the brake system that we installed. Read the instructions carefully. Here's some of the old system that we're removing. Now this car does have 15 inch rims, so everything's gonna clear. Here's the car right here, 64 Fury. Here's the system right here. This utilizes the original spindle and you put a spacer in there to change the bearing. And then here's the dual piston caliper. And we went ahead and we did new hoses and all new suspension parts, upper control arm bushings, lower control arm. We also did the stiffening kit for the lower control arm, the stiffening plate that you weld in. Here's the power booster unit. It comes with its own proportioning valve that's adjustable and the booster. Now, one thing that's important on this is the firewall did have to be modified. So when we first mounted this in the factory hole area, the booster was not too bad, but the master cylinder actually stuck up above the air cleaner. So you can see it's pretty level now, but before it actually stuck up in, in this area right here, so the hood wasn't even gonna shut. So we had to uh, modify the firewall, but everything mounts up good. Today, we bled the brakes, and we've got good brake fluid pressure at all the cylinders. Customer's gonna go ahead and leave the original rear drum brakes, and of course, if you know Mopar, the older style, starting in about uh, 65 and older, they had the tapered axle. And he's not going to change that right now, but he's just going to stay with the original rear drum brakes. All in all, it was a really easy kit to install besides the firewall modifications. And it's just good, good old wholesome hard work, uh, front suspension work, nothing too serious. And uh, with a Poly 318, it should make copious amounts of vacuum and uh, the booster should work fine. So tomorrow we're going to get it on the ground. And uh, if we get the brake pedal adjusted correctly, we'll probably take it out for a drive. So uh, the lead brake system, uh, we've used them on a couple cars. Actually used them on that Plymouth Duster over there too that I'll, uh, I've already done a video on it once and we've driven it and had it aligned. So that system worked pretty good, but uh, we'll get this Fury out and give it a test drive.